Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to another Paris neighborhood exploratory video. This time around we're going to explore Le Quartier Latin. Basically it covers the fifth district of Paris and it is a neighborhood that is famous for its cafes and bars and most importantly it is the student district. It is home to many famous universities such as the Sorbonne which explains why I'm there all the time. If you ever run into me in the fifth district, that's where my life is basically. That's where I hang out, that's where the party is. Yeah, so I spend a lot of time there basically and um, since I have quite a lot of uni work to do, I just thought why not take you guys along and kind of explore this neighborhood. I think it's gonna be also a good opportunity for me to maybe explore new places that I haven't been to before because usually when you spend a lot of time in one place or in a neighborhood, like you kind of just just to get used to it and you always go to the same places for food and yeah I think I kind of just get comfortable and I don't really explore it anymore so this is what this video is going to be about honestly I chose a really bad day for filming because it's been raining the whole day but it's supposed to be raining the whole week so yeah I have one class from 7 p.m. today so before I go to uni I'm going to go to an art gallery that's really close that's close by and yeah that's pretty much it for this intro I hope that you all enjoyed this video just before we start please make sure to subscribe to this channel I like this video if you feel like doing that without any further ado let's go and explore see you guys later be right back bye <laughs> guys so welcome back so the clips that you're about to see were actually filmed on friday i totally forgot to like speak for some reason i mean not for some reason i was just really tired on friday i actually have a two hour badminton class each friday which is really damn freaking hard but after my badminton class i went to school i had a class i had another class and then i pretty much just went to the library to study a little bit before going home and uh yeah i just pretty much filmed a little bit bit of the like the neighborhood and um, where I usually hang out between my classes or like after my classes and yeah that's pretty much all roll the clip future editing Nora <laughs>
guys, welcome back. Today is finally Sunday. It is the last day of the week. I'm actually meeting Savannah today to shoot a little bit. Sunday is usually the day where, where I try to like meet up with people who are also like interested in like creative things or who are interested in going to museums or art galleries or like shooting anything so this sunday i'm meeting savannah who is also a content creator you guys have seen her before in my videos and yeah we're pretty much just going to go and shoot a little bit so first we're going to go to like a merry-go-round so the merry-go-round that we're going to is really close to jardin des plantes so it is in the fifth um district and then we're going to an art gallery that is not in the fifth it's kind of actually in the south of paris but i'm still gonna take you guys along a little art never hurt anyone <laughs> That's pretty much all I'm doing this Sunday. I hope that you had a nice weekend. See you guys later. Bye for now. Super pretty. Hello. Show you my drawing. Nice. I wanted, I'm gonna take a, a picture of it. Oh my god, did you draw them? Yeah, yesterday. What? How did you draw those? I went to the Seine and I, I drew the river. What the heck? Mm. I'm gonna oh. paint it next because all the leaves are changing. The noise, the gravitation is pulling me back to where you'll be. And it ain't hard to keep on living with your voice right next to mine. The color and shape of your creation. Something beautiful as this is one of a kind But I, I know it's hard to find my way in overtime But it feels so right Not a bird, not a plane, not even Superman can make me want to change I feel invincible in the morning, in the night, you know that I want you by my side. Is it too much to ask to love or let it go? Or we wait for tomorrow. Hello guys, so welcome back. I think that this is going to be the last day that I'm filming. Today's actually Tuesday, it is the next week. I just wish you could see the weather is so foggy at the moment. Like I literally opened my window in the morning and I couldn't see anything. It's kind of depressing to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually meeting um, Mira, one of my friends that I haven't seen in such a long time. I think I haven't seen her in like, like since July. So I'm actually going um, for a brunch with her in the morning and I have like three classes at uni so we're going to meet very very soon we're meeting at 10 a.m and then I'm gonna go to class and um yeah basically we're going to a brunch place that's called Lulu's Diner I have never been there I don't really know what to expect but I kind of went through the like the menu just in case and I saw that they have a lot of like um not vegan but a lot of like gluten-free options so if you're also gluten intolerant like me maybe you want to check it out so yeah that's pretty much what I am doing this morning. Other than that, I actually got a package from Maison Martin, which is a perfume brand here in France. And they basically just sent me one of their perfumes for me to show on camera and like to test it out. I'm usually very like picky with perfumes. Like I have been using the same perfume for about 10 years. I don't really like to like experiment with perfumes because I associate that perfume so much with myself and like with my personality. But sometimes I think it's nice to try new things. So thank you so much Maison Martin for sending this to me. I'm gonna check it out now. So I got the Avant L'Orage perfume before the storm perfume. <laughs> wow, so pretty. Attentif au monde qui nous entoure. Nous faisons un premier pas vers une production responsable et produisons nos parfums en France avec de l'alcool bio. Oh yeah, they're basically trying to be as environment friendly as possible. So they're producing their perfumes with the um, bio alcohol and also like their packaging are recycled so also I know that all of their perfumes are produced in um, in France so wow I especially like the, the zodiac constellations that are on the perfume this is kind of the reason why I chose this perfume to be honest <laughs> oh wow oh that's really nice 
I just want to look at the ingredients. Pink pepper, jasmine, benzoam, vanilla, santal wood, tonka bean. It kind of smells like the perfume that I am using, the one that I just talked about. And I can kind of smell that it has like a similar like smell with a little bit of like mix of vanilla. Maybe I will even like mix them together or is that weird? Do you usually mix perfumes together? Do you guys mix perfumes together? Let me know. Yeah, it's like really light and easy. But yeah, it's super nice. I'm definitely gonna like use this more. I really recommend that if you don't like using anything strong as your perfume, then I really recommend it. It's really, really nice. So yeah, thank you so much again. And I think that now I'm gonna go because I'm already late. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> See you guys later. See you guys at the cafe. Might be a bit of paper left under the pool of coffee. What did you order? I ordered an avocado toast with a poached egg. With a poached egg. Should, I, should I cut it for the video? Yeah. Yes, please. Wow. Wow. Yes. Yes. Sexy. Yes. <laughs> How we spend our days is tragic in so many ways. I stumbled to the door, I couldn't take it anymore. I took a leap of faith and then. So I think that this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching again. Just again, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. I like this video if you enjoyed watching it. And as usual, I will see you guys next week with a new video. Bye!